you watch my previous video about Hunyan 3D and conversion from 2D images to, with, to 3D images, there was some kind of problem installed on local machine. And as I said, it took about two days. And now we have a beautiful installation to run standalone on your local computer. So let me take you there and show how you can do. But before, before we do this, let me show you this. Look, I went created from this image, I created 3D model and just showing you that is um, printed on 3D printer just for fun. I did it. And as well, later we'll look on the mesh, like right here inside the blender. And we can look on all these polygons. We'll see how mesh is created. But let's start first how you can install. And actually, if you're going to very simple steps, and Yarn provide a very beautiful installation for the Windows, I mean, you can do step by step and very fast be ready and running and testing on your local machine. Keep in mind, because it convert from 2D to 3D and also can create 2D images, it's maybe a little bit high requirements to your computer, but it also includes some very nice optimizations for running on low VRAM. Well, first, all the links to all the resources will be down below in descriptions, so you can easily just click and navigate to these places. Right here, we have an i3D Win portable installations. So if we're going down below, you'll notice it's separate on two sections. One, if you want to generate shapes only, and second, if you want to generate shapes and textures as well. Textures will require some additional resources, and sometimes maybe you want to separate. I would recommend you start with generating just the shapes and see when it's running, and after you can install over additionally to create those textures. Personally, it's how I done and it's work flawless for me. So it's very nice. Okay. Let's see what we have here. First, you obviously need going and downloading this WinZip file. It is a large size file, but don't rush and download it libraries. Like in other videos, I'll show you where you can download models because this pack will download those models as you're going step by step. So after you unload it, don't run one. What do you want to do? You want to go ahead and run two, skip number one, run two download models. And this is, will take a little bit time because it is large models, but nicely you don't need to go and chase them on the internet. They're very nicely, beautifully, will put it inside your directories. And as well, if we look on the requirements here, you can notice it's run on NVIDIA GPU with six gigabyte for maybe working. So it's actually very nice. It's lower requirements on this case and you must have a newer GPU driver. So if you're up to date, it should be run with no problems. For me, this download models does not take very long, but I'm on a fast connections. You can see here is about 26 gigabyte. It's very large models. Okay. Um, I did not have this error, but it, in other case, I did receive it. So it depends when you run. If you have this error, just ignore it and it's run just fine. And after this, you can run on your local host with 8080 port. And that's actually what I do right here. I'm running on my local with 8080. Okay, let's check our next steps. This is a kind of like first phase. And when you download it, I would recommend for you to launch and test. And of course, your models, after they're generated, they will be in Gradio cache right here. And as you're going around, you can see we have all these different tests, different models, with generating the input file, output, you have it your um, the 3D object with the baked in textures and as well texture HTML preview file. So you have it all of this and you can see I have it multiple of them to create, including like a Pikachu, which is you can create from text directly to 3D object. So you don't need it loaded image. You can use it just text, but with uh, some small adjustments, which is also very easy to do. Okay. After you successfully install, test it and play around. I would recommend if you prefer to go and try to install um, with a text that would require additional installations or additional libraries for you to install. One, you want to be sure you install the um, CUDA toolkit. 
For this, you want to go to the website, link will be down below, or you can just go from link there and download it to your CUDA. Notice that when you install it, don't click Express Install, click on Custom Install and down uncheck everything, expand your CUDA and check just libraries and compiler. This is only two options you needed to install it. It's nice because it won't overwrite your drivers. Next, you want to install a visual Microsoft C++ build tool. For this, you can go on the site, just download it. Again, in a time of installations, you want to be sure you select the um, desktop developing with C++ developer because it's give you different boxes. You want to click on one with the C++ workflow. So it's installed properly libraries and additional tools for this. Next, you already probably download and install this file. Only what you want to do, just go and check Okay, right here, run update bad file, batch file, because it will going and just reset your GitHub uh, branch, everything, just get it latest code. If you do at the same time, you probably won't have it any updates, but if you decide to hold and do maybe like next day or day after this, this is a very good things to run before you proceed. After all of this is completed, you want to run step one. Notice at this time, you probably will have a step two already done. And it's not um, if you accidentally run again, step two to downloaded models, it will just skip. It's verify that everything downloaded. So you won't be redownloading and rewriting over. It's quite a bit smart way done batch files. Um, when you run this first install batch files, this is will recompile and it may take a little bit time. Um, for me, when I run this time, it's have it no errors, it's proceed very well, it's smooth. In your case, if you have it errors, just verify couple things. And here, my installation, for example, Python. Okay, I'm running on the 3.12.8 Python. Mine, um, I think it's NVCC. Okay, let's go and see the versions. You'll notice right here my version is actually says CUDA 11. It's not a 12. And this is important because it asks install 12. But you remember when we click, we do install just the libraries in compiler. So it does not mess up with your other um, compiling. For example, PyTorch, whatever I'm using, it is working with a compile with my previous version of the Okay, where are they? right here. Okay, if you notice right there, it's a, my PyTorch going with 11.8, and I don't want to mess up with this. So if you install just libraries and tools, it's still keeping everything running, and you don't need to worry about this. Okay, so that is kind of prerequisite. After you run it, um, you can again run download models. If any update on the models was, it will upload it. Um, in my case, it was okay. And just run that same file what you run before. Okay. That will should open file. And if we look on this before, you probably won't have this generate shape in textures. And after you install it, you want to reload it. And this is up here. If everything is going fine, you can also just test generate models and you will have it model generating with a texture on top of this. At the same time, you see you won't have a text prompt or text to gallery. This is another third steps. And I would recommend you to go in a step. Don't just rush and, and try install everything at the same time. Because um, if one thing is fail, you don't know which one. So in my case, it's how I done. I install first to generate shapes. Next, I install to generate textures. And the third, I run and install um, with the text and you can do a couple ways one on the bottom it will say run this python garage in, uh, special options or and this is you still probably want to do this for a couple of reasons you want to go and says run text um, to 3d batch when you run this it will also going and download it additional libraries that will allow to um, clip to convert text to latent space and after also will allow the diffusion model loading 
to generate actually image. And when you create this way, after everything is running, again, for me, the biggest problem, it was when I created with the textures before. The other ones, it worked smooth and nicely. So after this, it start running. And this is an example, it's running this way. So let's just uh, verify right here. For example, I'm going to use a text prompt. And let's say um, steampunk car. I don't know how it will be very easy. And in this way, we'll just go ahead and click generate shapes to uh, watch if it's processing. We'll open right here and you can see it is prompt steampunk car. Now it's got a cache going. This is my previous generations and it is first generating for us to the image because I did a text to image and next it will take this image and convert to 3D. I honestly did not done this before, so it will be a surprise for you and me to find out how it will look. Okay, a render completed. Let's check what we have it. And if we look on a time of processing, okay, it's right here, steampunk car. Okay, let's see, this is 44 seconds, next 13 seconds, 14 seconds and compile. So it took me about two minutes, 30 seconds, uh, quite a bit fast on a RTX 3090 car to generate this model. Look at this, this is a beautiful model and we're going to check this inside the Blender, see how it's created. But I'm honestly, I'm impressed on the model it does create it from just a text prompt. Okay, and our model will locate it in seven right here. Let's look. This is our car and this is our texture and a white mesh. Let's go inside the Blender. And in the Blender, before we jump in, I want to show this is a model. It's what created and the same. I took picture of myself from some funny photo shoot I was doing. I export uh, generated 3D. This is model what I was using. And this is the 3D print that I made from um, direct from this without actual modification. I took this one, convert OBG to STL file. And uh, I did rework a little bit on the supports, but it supports creating by different programs. So it's not a big deal. So custom supports, but that is create this model um, from the just image scanning. Very, very impressive way to do it. Okay, let's look closer what we have here. And you can see it's not bad. It's triangles. It's creating this um, map. It's obviously um, some maybe can red topology to do a little bit better on this, but generally it's not bad. It, it does very good. Um, I did not find any big problems with uh, oversaturations on some polygons, some specific areas or over stretching. I wish that is allowed us to specify uh, detailizations, but I'm sure it's probably something there. I need to just dig more in and to find out. And this is a question for you. If you're going to play with this, let me know what you find, how we can rework on this model. But let's right now take our car that we just generating and import in here. Okay, I'm going to do the easy way. I'll just take our file, drag and drop. Okay, let's go look on our adjustments. Okay, and we have it here. Normal data, we'll just keep it everything else. Um, import textures, yeah, I'll just use this one in case we have it. And I think that's all what we need to do. And there is, we have it, our model set. So let's bring just a little bit up from ground. Okay. There you go. Let's look nice and beautiful model. Okay, let's go to our modeling so we can look also on a mesh. We have it here. And this is our unedit mesh. Okay, let me come closer to see what we can preview. It's not bad. Um, remember, so we can do um, just select all and we can go, of course, inside the mesh and modify or clean up that mesh if we need to do. But I think even without this, it's look not bad. So 
much improved honestly guys um it is way when first time they start appearing i remember first mesh this is day and night i know it's can have it more improvement um a lot of logic can put it around but you can also use the topology like 3d code or some other applications to work with this now let's go ahead and just preview with the textures and everything here and you can see there's our texture imported maybe it's not the high resolution car but you know it did a very good job for just generating directly from the text to creating this model let me switch to this view well let me know what you think do you think it is already workable or not workable how we can use it beside 3d printing and uh, just a guess you know it, it's a wonder things if we take a guess and see how long will take till it's actually start rigging and separate parts and everything so that could be fun parts to do well thank you for watching hopefully you're enjoying all links down below remember subscribe like your support is greatly appreciated and i'll see you next time bye